Hey folks, Poster, welcome back to another Pokemon Massive video, and, uh, you know, as, as a lot of people have been requesting, we're gonna, uh, do the free-to-play run with the, uh, Champion Stadium over here, as usual, going up to the useful rewards. Obviously, if you have better units, all that stuff, or, or if you have time to go for, like, RNG stuff, whatever, you could always, um, you know, go for more, right? Uh, in terms of the conditions, because there's always like a lot of easy conditions that you can just pick up for free, basically, right? Um, but yeah, we're going for the uh, good rewards here, right? So, starting off with uh, Karen, let's start with Karen over here. Um, just need to pick up 300. You could pick up like these, which are basically not much for the opponent, or you just pick up like one of these like move gauge refreshes, or not move gauge refreshes, <laughs> the um the thing stopping you from getting too many move gauge. Uh, which is the move gauge down. That, that could all get you to 300 because all we need is just um, We could poison salt too for like 1.5k each and then all the rest we could just pick up uh, 300 right so or again or more if you want to yourself, but just For the sake of the video, right? So um, this team we're running. We're gonna throw in Sogaleo, Lucario and Medicham um, Reason why we're running Medicham is unfortunately I can't run Torchic with Sogaleo, right? Uh, if you don't have Sogaleo, right, because it is like a, I guess, legendary event that hasn't like come back in a while, so maybe, um, maybe, like, the next rerun would be like Sogaleo with like Synchro Expandents and stuff, that would be nice. Uh, but, yeah, if you don't have Sogaleo, you could just throw in like, honestly, just any other, uh, you know, either fighting type or, or you could throw in just some better supports or tanks, right? In of Sogaleo, right? Because Medicham is not that great of a tank. I mean, it's not like terrible, right? Um, obviously, mine's five stars. These are not five stars. It's not that great. Um, but it sh it should be enough if you are running like double strike over here with Sogaleo. Uh, but again, if you don't have you know Sogaleo, you can replace it with like some solid tank that you have, right? Uh, whether it be like I don't know, just just whatever tank. If you have like dust clops, maybe I don't know. Salamans, maybe that would work. Just stuff like that. Um, I guess we're a potion thing um, But since you are like doing like the first one maybe just like any other like solid neutral It doesn't even have to be fine. Obviously if a wall you could use Wally, right? But otherwise maybe just some like neutral Damage healer that hits relatively hard you could do that, right? So um, as for Karina's grid um, I Don't know her grids really bad. There's really nothing you Really need to pick up on it you pick up some, like close combat power-ups and that's like a bit honestly you don't even really need the move gauge refresh just because oh man uh, you pick it up i mean it's not bad but i also picked up the sync move power up nodes which you only get at three out of five and if you don't have her at three out of five don't worry like it's it's basically it's close to like worthless <laughs> it's it's not you know it's not that big of a deal all right let's uh let's do this then um against karen cool 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 all right. Thankfully, uh, Karen did actually show up here instead of like someone else. <laughs> okay. Let's. Um. I didn't. I didn't level up the skills there, but you could do that if you want, obviously. So. I am aiming to take out the mid first over here instead of the sides, because I mean the sides, they don't have any AOE moves, so I'm not really worried. Because I think like the Persian spam is like Iron Tail and then. Mighty Unit does like something else. I think they're all like they're both uh, single target, so I'm not really worried about uh, them. I could just, you know, just start attacking the uh, the mid, honestly. All right, let's get on through here, and we'll have our sync up. Snarl. Uh, well, Sogaleo is impervious, so I don't care about that Snarl. And then the other two are obviously. They're not special strikers. <laughs> so, anyways, um, okay, and that's that's all damage, right? So we kill close combat there. Cool, cool, cool. Got close combat in there, and we start rock smashing. Um, I mean, so far so good. Metacham really hasn't taken too much damage, so that's nice. Uh, we are a bit iffy on gauges, it seems. So that might, might be a bit of an issue. We just like pass around like a metal claw or whatever instead, I guess. Uh, gave him no stat debuffs. Again, the stat debuff didn't really matter anyways, honestly. So who cares? 
All right. Um, now it's just the uh, the mighty Ina and the Persian, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think, right? Yeah, they're all they're all two shot material over here. Um, maybe we could throw in drain punches. See how much we heal on drain punches. <laughs> I really wish Medicham was better. Like the concept's really fun. Like uh, drain punch, rock smash. Like it's it's a really fun conceptually. Um, you know, sync pair, right? It just obviously sync would be very very nice. <laughs> Make it a bit better. <laughs> but yeah, like imagine like some I don't know mass healer on drain punch or like uh, oh damn or like on a roll on um, rock smash have like 100% drops chance there and stuff. That would be fun. That would be fun. All right, so there's that one again. Not extremely difficult, right? Even even if you don't have your Lucario gridded, I'm pretty sure you could, you know, easily clear this one. All right? So there we go. Voila! Not uh, not that big of a deal. Um, again, even if your Medicham does faint like earlier on, Sogaleo has like solid solid defensive stats. You should be fine, right? Alright folks, moving on to the next one, we got Kogo, still pick up the same, I mean, unless, again, you want to pick up the move gauge thing, it's, you could do either, honestly, or 300, it's only 300, you could pick up, like, a lot of things, and it probably wouldn't really matter, um, as for the team, bring in Price, Dugong, Bombso, and Luntone, for the grid here, it's just, uh, double invigorating hail, so we get extra 6% damage on our icy winds, uh, when it hails. And then outside of that, uh, oh, dire hit MP refresh. I think it's actually pretty important, so we can actually do some damage on our sink, hopefully. Um, and just I don't know, I see when movie refresh. Nothing, I guess, super special on this one. Uh, and then those are obviously upgrades. Um, so the main game plan over here is just to set them up, set price up, do some damage. Uh, obviously, if it, if you have anything better than <laughs> Listen, Loon Tone, use that instead, right? If you have like a, I don't know, things are blue, torture, whatever. Like, if you have like anything better than Loon Tone, bring Loon Tone, uh, bring that instead. Uh, if you have Tech Lapras, actually, you could swap that in for um, a Bomb of Snow over here instead. And, um, or if you have any better Ice type damage years, like a Luzamine, or, uh, I don't even know, whatever else. Ice Steven off. I mean, if you have Ice Steven, why are you even, you don't even need to watch this video. <laughs> this thing would be like, already gone all right so okay so um a few things hopefully we queue up a, or not we queue up uh, hopefully we do get an mp refresh on dire hit that would be really really nice also you could buff these theme skills if you want i personally didn't okay let's get the crit buff in mp refresh please no mp refresh unfortunately at least none yet just have one more shot at that obviously Cross poison. Oh, no crit. That's actually really, really nice. Okay, don't see that too often. Air cutter. And then after that, we'll just we could queue up some um uh some special defenses, which would be also pretty helpful for the team surviving, right? Because the uh, the Koga actually does throw out some uh, sludge bombs later on, which is slightly annoying. So yeah. All right. And some okay-ish damage, I guess. Uh, I couldn't get that up before they remove, unfortunately. Ice punch, and then we could throw out a hail here. All right, come on. All right, there you go. And then we start spamming icy wind and confusion over here, I guess. Get the hail in. All right, should we do that? Maybe we could do one just to max out the special defense, so once after um, Luza goes down, we could get some, I don't know, extra stats or, or extra special defense here. Survivability stuff. Maybe. Alright. Uh, costs us a bit of a move cage though, but we should be fine because after this one we're going for a sink anyways. Alright, the vision buff is slightly annoying because Icy Wind's actually not, not very good. And plus, I mean, evasion, even for like 100%, I mean, it's not like that bad, honestly. It's still like 95%, but like, <laughs> just anything would not be too great there, alright? 
All right. Can I get a crit, please? I don't think that's a crit, unfortunately. Um, nice punch in there. Probably need to heal soon. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Um, we're still around. Hopefully we get our uh, stuff up before they could get a move in. All right, with our move gauge issue over here. Noontone's still alive, which I'm slightly surprised by. I mean, pleasantly surprised by. Alright, there it goes. Um, again, we should be fine. A bomb zone could probably take a hit or two. It does have max special defenses, unless they start using physical moves like Cross Poison instead, which especially has the chance to crit. <laughs> then it would not be that good. Um, have our sync move up soon. Yeah, it's basically over. The uh, sync afterwards. We don't even have to rely on Icy Wind not hitting the co uh, the Koga. And plus, we do have um, plus four special defenses over here. So even if they hit us with a Sludge Bomb or whatever, we should be fine. Even if this doesn't take it out. And it does, so there we go. We couldn't even get the crit, couldn't get the MP refreshes, but... Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Hopefully y'all had a, a bit better luck than yes. I did over there. Um, but even if you don't, you should be fine. All right, so there we go. That's um, that's Mr. Uh, Mr. Koga Sage. All right, folks, next up is is poor Bruno. And uh, for this one, I'm actually, I, I actually thought about, I'm probably just gonna drop the special time reduction and pick up like extra 10% defense instead. If you do have like any support that could max out crit, like a Sabrina or whatever, you should probably want to do that instead. Um, I'm just doing this just in case we don't like crit on the sink. That would be kind of awkward. Um, or if you're, yeah, and also I'm recording, so I don't, I don't want to like, you know, record the stage over and over again if I don't get a crit. <laughs> so like, if you're just doing it yourself, you could pick that up, and then you know, if you don't crit, you can just try again, <laughs> right? So, uh, let's see, slight change here, I guess. Um, so we're running double damage dealer here with um, Mewtwo and uh, Mew, right? So Mew, it, it's the Sync New Grid, right? Uh, inertia Blind Spot with Agile Energy Shifty Striker um, with the extra Sync Move Power Up Nodes, right? Uh, and Torchic is there for Crit Buffs, uh, Special Attack Buffs. Obviously, like I mentioned before, if you have anything better, you could use that instead. Uh, although there really isn't like that many better options than torture I mean obviously Serena maybe make I don't know uh, my game is probably not even better honestly <laughs> it's a slightly slower although it, my game is like enough though for Mew uh it doesn't really help Mew to that much though but yeah if you have like a Musharna you could obviously use that instead uh Caitlyn if you want all that stuff but yeah anyways um Will even right so let's uh let's 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 do this let's do this all right, so we're gonna try and take out Bruno here first. If we have some time, we could maybe like focus on the Conkelder so it doesn't like rock slide flinch us, which would be really awkward if they do. All right, so let's do that. Old Dreams, Earthquake. Earthquake, we're not afraid of at all. Let's, we could start psychicking after that. Although I probably should have waited. Queued up a second Blazing Hope before I queued up that second. Oh well. Whatever. Oh, ouch, that actually kind of hurt. Didn't expect to hurt that much. Damn. Okay. Do that. Um, oh, I guess we'll flame charge here for some extra speed. If you're running like Will or whatever, you could probably just sex attack all there instead. Um, ouch, I guess. Low sweep should do like nothing. So we're not worried about that one. Flame charge. Speed here and such. Uh, psychic sync move. Okay, my torch is still fine. I'd probably take one or or two, at least two more hits, right? Because Conkelder's attacking next. I don't remember Conkelder having like. I think Conkelder might have like Drain Punch here or something. I don't know. I don't remember what Conkelder has honestly, other than the Rock Slide at the end. I don't think we crit there, but uh, again, it's we're fine. Okay, it is great. Drain Punch. What'd you know? It is Drain Punch. Yeah, I also should have went with X Attack on instead of there, so we could keep an extra move. Um, 
Yeah, I definitely want to uh, work on uh, Conkeldor over here instead of uh, of of Hariyama, because Hariyama, I think it's just Earthquake, which is not that big of a deal in comparison to like um, Rock Slide, which would be really awkward if they uh, if they flinch us, right? So do you want to prioritize taking out Conkeldor there? And I should probably just take them out before you take out Machamp, but I didn't think we'd finish off Machamp that fast. <laughs> Alright. Oh, if it was that little, then probably could have just, uh, went with, like, Fusion or something there. Alright. And then we'll just finish off with this thing, too, because why not? Hopefully it crits. <laughs> Alright, Earthquake, and we'll have this one up. Damn, didn't even take out the Torchic? What the heck, Hariyama? That was very, that was very, very disappointing. From you, I mean, I mean, I, I personally don't mind. But, uh, alright, let's finish this, uh, this poor thing off. And, there you go. I don't think I'm crit either, right? Eh? Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> alright, just, uh, two more. Last two, which we are going to, uh, toxic stall. Alright folks, for the next one, you guys already know, we're gonna put install this one, obviously. So, uh, physical, special damage reductions, defense ups, HP ups, and star reduction. Don't need healing, so we put that in. Unless you guys want to, like, bring a healer, then just drop that and pick up, like, I don't know, defense buffs instead. Half out of MP, because I personally don't need it. But again, if you're using someone who needs it, just drop that and pick up more defenses. Crit, um, shield, max HP, move gauge down, max HP. So, yeah, that's what we're going with. So we're throwing in Lucis of Viper for Wrap and um, Poison, obviously. Xerneas, just a tank, because they also have like green thumb, so it's really fun to use Xerneas here, because you get extra boost on like Horn Leech, so you heal even more. Um, as for the Grizz, just Healing Hand, Move Gauge Refresh on Horn Leech, and then two Master Healers. And I'm bringing Marlin, because uh, uh, there's, I don't know, there, you don't need anyone for the third one, honestly. It's, you can throw in, like, whoever, and it's fine. Marlin gives, like, plus two defenses, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, even even if you just use, like, Lucian Sycamore, you probably should be fine, honestly. I'll probably even try that out later. Um, alright, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> uh, we, should, we should be fine, though, we should be fine. No, uh, no panic. Ouch. But not really. Attack buff is nice. Getting those. Physical attack buffs. Grab over here. More concerned with getting the poisons in, so I'm just gonna get poison fang first before I worry about horn leech. Um I guess like Kirikasa is like aw oh, man, attack down. It is weak to uh Grass, which is not fun, but again, like it literally does not matter who like the third unit is. The third unit could be like you could bring like Charizard, Red and Charizard for like third unit and just like have them sit there and do like literally nothing and you should be fine. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to click that. Oh well. Well, we're just gonna prove that theory then. We'll just have <laughs> Kirikasa take the aggro and just like die to like a bunch of grass type moves. <laughs> Again, did not mean to actually hit that, but I also don't really mind. Alright. Yeah, man, I really don't like Karakasa's kit. Like, <laughs> this guy, like, draws aggro, but, like, you're not even that tanky? <laughs> Why are you drawing aggro if you're, like, not extremely tanky anyways? Alright. Let's get that in. We'll just beat this up. It's not, not really that. <laughs> It's changed for the rest of the, uh, for the battle. We got a Poison Fang in. Please. Alright, got the Poison in. Healing up Kirikasa. Probably gonna die the sync move, honestly. Actually, maybe not. We're still, like, a bit over half. Maybe we could survive it. But again, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Let's just throw in some Sludge Bombs. <laughs> Cause why not? I mean, I did, I did buff. Uh, oh, there you go. I did buff Survivor's uh, special attack with uh, Zernia, So, <laughs> okay. We get the uh, Grassy Terrain boosted Horn Leech in here to heal all that back up, basically. I mean, Zernius is just 
busted, man. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> yeah, all the way back up. And enough to kill up another sludge bomb too, with only like two units surviving. So, man, they really gave us Xerneas for free, man. They really gave us Xerneas for free. <laughs> oh, we got flinched there, which is not good, I guess. All right. I probably should have used like I dare you as well, but I'd, again, we're fine. You think we don't use it? Yeah. You just have to sit and wait till you win. You just go in here. Have this team in there and sit around, like poison everyone first and sit around and wait till you win. Well, you spam poorly so you don't die. Very simple concept, folks. Still at max HP. Voila, and that's the game. Alright, so that's the Elite Four. Just gotta go ahead and uh, go yeah, finish off Lance and then we should be fine. All right, so for the, for the last one for Lance, I tried a few ways, and honestly, I think it would have been better if we just probably, like, gave Lance a 300, and then, like, Poison Stall, like, Karen or Koga instead. Just because, like, I tried poisoning Lance, or Poison Stalling Lance. You could do it. You could definitely do it. It's just very painful. <laughs> it's a very painful process, because he does have lesser poison nine so we do have to go with like a mixture of poison and sink nuke over here with koga so we're gonna actually pick up the uh, lower special defense thing and we're just gonna mainly pick up all these defense and hp stuff instead we're not gonna pick up critical hit defense and we're gonna give them um or, 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 we're not gonna give them um, no stat reduction because we are gonna use koga and we are gonna try to debuff them so do some damage all right so this is our team right as for the uh the the, the grids and stuff right we're gonna uh, we're gonna go, uh, Kogo over here, we're gonna give him, actually, MP refresh on move like a shadow, because we are gonna actually have the sync nuke this guy, so, Bob and Weave, blind spot for the sync nuke, and some sync move power-ups, we do need mind games 9, so we decrease their, um, special defense here, right, uh, as for Swana, nothing too special except for unbending, so our defense that can't be lowered, because they actually do crunch and rock smash us, so it'd be nice to actually have that, right? So, and Roxanne over there, so we get some special attack buffs for, uh, for Koga over here. Alright, so, starting off, we're gonna try and potion this mid as, as much as possible, right? Um, hopefully get a poison in fast, and hopefully get some MP refreshes, which would help. Yes, we got a poison in. We got a poison in on the first one. That's really, really good. That's really, really good! <laughs> okay. Um, study buddies after that, we're gonna move like, uh, move like a shadow to get our crit max out. Hopefully get an MP refresh on this so we could actually max out our crit. Did get MP refresh there. That's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> so far so good. So far so good. So far so good. Alright. And hopefully, um, we could also get a few potion MP refreshes later on as well. That could also help. Um, crunch is gonna hurt. Crunch is gonna hurt. We should be fine though. I'm not too worried about you know, um, potioning up this early yet. Alright. I don't know why it's taking forever to sink. <laughs> but it is for some reason. Alright, get sinking. Come on, Ghost! No. <laughs> Alright. Venishock. So we're gonna sync with Koga next, right? Aerial Ace. Okay. Still not worried. So we're gonna potion right after they sync, and then one move after they sync, because right after they sync, they're gonna use up a um uh, a gig impact, which hurts a lot. So yeah, right. Uh, gust here. We can still go for one more gust. All right, we're gonna sync with Koga. So, just watch that. Um, part, right? Okay, there's the sink. Here's our sink. Potion. And hopefully, we get a crit on our sink. Because that would also be very, very important. <laughs> Alright, please crit. Please crit on sink. Please crit on sink. And also, MP your first potion. Alright, come on. Crit, please, please crit, please crit, please crit. 
Yes! We got a crit in. That is very, very good. Finish shock. Gig impact again. Gonna potion that one up. And then, honestly, you know what? Uh, should I Venishok? Or should I start attacking the sides, trying to po uh, poison? Hmm. Man. Alright. We'll just go one more Venishok. And then after this, we're gonna again sink the um, Aerodactyl. And then after that, we're gonna try to poison the sides. Um, I think we're still fine here. We take one more. Oof! I didn't know they were going to do that again. Yikes, that might actually be bad. That might actually be bad, because I would have much rather preferred to potion there instead of gusting. I think we're fine, though. I think we could take one more crunch. Which I highly doubt they're... Oh, I was just about to say I highly doubt they're going to use crunch again. But they did use a crunch again. So, hopefully we don't get taken out there. But yeah, in that range, you should probably go ahead and, and try uh, healing and stuff instead. Okay, can we please get poison in early? And survive. Okay, we did survive, so that's that's good, that's good. Also, push down here fresh, please. Oof. Did not expect it. Ah, I thought I was going to survive one more hit. Mm. Alright, so T-Tar's going to earthquake. Oh, good, 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 good. T-Tar's going to earthquake first. Um, we're going to go ahead and wide guard with um, Roxanne over here. Ouch! <laughs> Roxanne got destroyed there. Oh my god. Probably healed them up a bit. Oh, really, really nice. Uh, poisons. Push in. Come back, please. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sink nuke the um, sink the Glalie over here probably. Maybe this could be enough to finish it off. No more uh, potions, which is not good. However, uh, Tarantar is not doing that much damage to us. We just need to make sure Glalie gets sent to the Shadow Realm here. Hopefully. Yes, and it did. See you later, Glalie. Okay, Venishog time. We just gotta survive the Tarantar, man. Just gotta survive the Tarantar. Just hope it doesn't crit us too much. Right? With the 5% five, 5 chance to crit. <laughs> Alright. Just need to tank a few more. Okay, okay. Koga's still good. I think Koga probably tank two more. Well, one more before he gets like taken out by, by the next one. I think we got it folks. I think we got it. Because all we gotta do is just sink now. And that pr probably very very likely will be the end of it. Alright. EQ. Oh we missed! Koga dodged! Let's go! The poison took it out! Ooh. Yeah you definitely need a lot of RNG with this comp over here. Thank you, Koga. Yeah, yeah, definitely need <laughs> some RNG here. Um, a few points of that. First, uh, you do need the MP refresh on, on Koga's trainer move. You need a few potion MP refreshes would be nice. You actually don't need take flight MP refresh. You could probably take that off, honestly. Maybe like throwing like staggering or something if you want. Um, actually, I wouldn't do staggering. You kind of want the mid to 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 attack so it gets taken up by the, by the poison and all that. Um, and you also need your sync move to crit. But outside of that, you know what? Now that I list them out, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, there you go. Up to uh, 3.9k. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned before, I now that I like tried it a few times, I would probably recommend like using this comp against uh, either um, Karen or, or whoever instead, and just use like something easy to finish this off, like Sogaleo, Malane, um, Malene, like triple or not a dual. Steel type comp, or if you have like Steven Glory, this would be e super easy, right? So, anyways, that's for me. That's one, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy this video. So, we're gonna channel for some more of my content. See you guys in the next one.